All right, guys, we're at Town Fair Tire in Norwalk, Connecticut. They said they're gonna try to fit the tires. Hopes are high. Last time I was here, incidentally, my Mustang GT blew up immediately afterwards. Hope I have better luck this time. It's like, uh, like an air tank that you would use at um, AAA. Okay. You know, they would have one of them just to maybe inflate a low tire. Yeah. Um, Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. It, 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 it's just about 50 pounds of air, 60 pounds of air. Yeah. In one quick shot yep. to inflate the tire. What are you going to demonstrate on that wheel right there? Oh, awesome. No more. Town Fair Tire in Norwalk, guys, where awesome happens. That's awesome. So, so basically, it just kind of like, oh, oh, cool. Now, wait a minute. Did that like, so how did that work? Why was it delayed? Oh, because it was airing up inside. Oh, okay. I blasted the air in. Yeah. Went around, but at the same time, he's holding the air yeah. with this hose. So I gave it like an assist. Yeah, yeah. And then once the assist goes, that air traps the whole the whole tire onto the rim. Wow. And little by little, it, it pops. Wow. It beats up. That's so awesome. Awesome. What's that gun called? That's the bazooka. Bazooka. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. They call him cheater blaster. What's that? Or they call him a cheater blaster. Cheater blaster, yeah. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at the car over there. There she is. Okay, cool. Do another one. We'll do one of my tires. Yeah. Is that the, uh, so we're taking off the 305s, right? This is the 305. Yep. But um, remember, these, these wheels are not just regular steel yep. wheels, so you yep. gotta be careful. So what I do, I always put like a little foam on okay. the wheel, so you don't damage the wheel. Okay, awesome. Much appreciated. Yeah, some shops just like throw it on there and they don't care about it. So, because your wheel is like basically very glued to the, to the rim, you basically gotta, little by little... I'll get a shot at the other side here. Start, uh, you just gotta start, you know, uh, separating it. Separating it, a small bit. But if you don't, and you go too far too fast, that shovel will go through the side of the wheel, the oh, tire, wow. yeah. and then we destroyed your tire. And there goes those summer tires. <laughs> and that would, that would suck. Yep. So we kind of wet it with soap and water a little soap bit. Soap and water, okay. Cleaning my rim off with the soap and water there. <laughs> it. What's that do? Just like grabs that, it? That, yeah, it grabs okay, it. Okay, it's automatic. That's awesome. Yep. Because some tires are a lot difficult than others. We want to lube it yep. so it makes it easy to dismount. Okay, cool. Now, on custom wheels, I have the tendency of not ever having the bar hit the wheel. Yeah, I, I was like noticing that. that little, that piece right there yeah. protects it, right? Yeah. What I do on this kind of wheel, every wheel is, most of the wheels are the same, but some are a little different. Yeah. So basically, I hold it here. See how, I, see how the tire moves up here? Yep. I take this off. Hold it here. Ah, oh, cool. Without the bar ever hitting the rim. That's awesome. Wow. So in this case now, I can't do that. But that's like that. That's the other side anyway, right? Yeah. But, yeah. So in this case, what I do is I grab a little piece of little piece of cloth paper, right? I'll fold it the long way. I'll come here. Put this here. Around. So now, when that bar sits, it's gonna sit on the paper, not the wheel. Ah, uh, gotcha. So basically, come here, lift up. My partner assists over there. 
sure all the, the cloth is out of the way in a way. And little by little, you, you walk it. When you never pull the bar out, you always let it come out by itself. Okay, cool. Is that the uh, sensor there? Okay, cool. So, right there? Yep. That's the TPMS sensor. Yep. Okay, now to mount the other one. Go here. So, basically, this is the outside right here. Yep, that's the outside. Okay. okay. On custom wheels, you never put the tire on the wheel. Okay. Is, you know, wrong. Okay. Hold up a little. Grab it. Sensor is always on this. More like uh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock sensor. Okay. So basically, see how the sensor is there. You never want to mount this with the with the with the tire in front of the sensor because if it comes, it, it, the tire could actually grab the sensor and rip it off. Rip right off, right. Awesome. That's putting a 275 tire on a 305 11 inch rim. Takes skill. Like I said, we didn't have a problem with airing it up. On this one, it just. Perfect. Don't even need a shotgun for this one, right? Not this one. Wow. What's the, what's the YouTube on the site? Uh, rated our cars. So this is how balancing works. Is that uh, like a laser? Yeah, it's, it's laser guided. So on this one, I'm gonna take the old piece off. Take it off the old plates. How's this, uh, how's like the whole laser and everything work on this? Uh, there's a measurement here that's kind of, um, this is like a the whole diaphragm of a of a tire. For example, on yours, because you don't you don't have a lip here, it basically has a lip, a lip and a, a inside kind of like a, a space for where you uh, where you actually has a, a guide for for your tape yep. weight. But basically, this is what we're going to use inside. Okay. Yeah, we have the custom black tape weight. Okay, so cool. On this one is a lip too, but you can use a lip. But on yours, I'm gonna use the tape weight all yeah. around. Yeah, and another reason I like uh, coming here is because they've got the black weights. It goes with the black rim. And then we shut this thing. So that laser, is it like, um, if there's like a wobble? It would, uh, it detects it? It would tell me how okay. badly it would be. Yeah, yeah. And it would show on the rim too as, as it's spinning. Okay. And that screen tells you how many to put on? Yep. All right. They go by a quarter of an ounce. By what? Quarter of ounces. Okay. Stick that on, I don't know if I can see it. But... Yeah. Okay, then we test it again. There we go. You can always see how the wheel is too over here. See how there's no bends on the wheel? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's do it again, watch I'll yep. show you. I'll get over here. Yeah. Let's see that. Okay, if you look at those bends here, yeah. you, you would see it kind of hopping. Alright, so that's good. So, so rim's in good shape. So now there's still a 22 here. So basically that's so bad because it's not. It has to be under 20. For under 20. 20. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna. So it needs thing. more weight. Basically now we're gonna put a quarter on this side. Okay. We're gonna clean this area here because this is where the 20, the 20, the quarter of an ounce is gonna go. Okay. Now is that a normal amount of like weights to put on? Is oh, it abnormal or? No, that's actually beautiful. Pretty yeah, good. That's okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Spinner again. Okay. So that 22 is gonna drop now. Okay. Now it's a nine. Now it's a seven, nine, a six. And seven, nine, basically, six. Basically, it's not gonna get any lower than that. So that's like okay. a perfect balance. Okay, cool. 
They're actually not not bad looking. It's uh, not stretch as much as I thought it would be. I mean, not bad, right, guys? Especially since I had these tires just laying around. Is there a reason to use like a torque wrench versus like a, an air powered one? Like, is it um, safer or? Well, on certain vehicles, we use the, the, the actual gun because of the higher uh, pressure for a car. Uh, the reason we use the ratchet is because too many people, if they don't know how to properly use the gun, yeah. and it's out for there's so many people, it's not like there's just three in a shop, you know, yeah. there's a whole yeah. bunch of us here. Yeah. The reason we don't use that is because when we point it. Some guys go and do it with the gun, they yep. cross press. Okay. And it jumps and then it creates a problem. So basically the, the ratchet does kind of guide each screw to the right position and then we come around with the torque wrenches and make okay. it to the spec of the vehicle. And that's what that's a Got you for safety then. Okay, cool. That's a proper procedure for yep. as far as the policy of town for time. Awesome. Uh so what's going on here? We're learning the sensors. Okay. How does that work? Is it like a, a wireless Bluetooth kind of a thing? Something like that. It's a, it's a program to each and every model of parts. So you have to log in the year, uh, make model. Yeah. And once you do that, it already knows the program will reset that. Okay. That's Resetting the TPMS sensors. Cool. Is there a name for that tool? Uh, Bartac. Bartac 400 SD. All right, guys. Uh, standing here, as you guys know, in Norwalk, Connecticut. This is the Main Street location, right? Yeah, 580 yep. Main Avenue. There's two. The one I come to, the one where I got my Continental tires, is here, um, and where they just saved me two thousand dollars on tires here um, by making my Continentals fit on the Mustang, which is recommended by Ford, by the way. Um, $2,000 savings, you can't get any better review than that. So come come down here to Town Care Tire, ask for Chris, he'll hook you up. As you guys just saw, amazing quality work. Always the best, we always guarantee you the best price. So yep. Yep. come on down, we'll take care of any vehicle for you. Awesome, thanks brother, Thank much appreciated. appreciate it. All right, so I'm driving on the tires now, they feel awesome. No um, sensor warnings on the tires, no flat tire warnings, anything like that. Tires feel great. I feel a lot more confident if it snows, I'm actually gonna drive. But yeah, in the meantime, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary, and no matter what you do, always go flat out.